They're back! The New England Revolution will open their slate in the MLS's back tournament on July 9th, kicking off against the Montreal Impact. Since arriving in Orlando last Thursday, the refs have been settling into their new home at the ESPN Wide World of Sports. I think it's going to be important to get settled as quickly as possible. Um, our first game comes next Thursday, uh, so I think that a lot of us are taking it seriously, getting the treatment when we need to, kind of getting yourself into a routine. And a lot of times you're going to be in your room, but hopefully you can get out or stay active if you're reading a book, doing something to kind of keep your mind going, getting outside, getting in the sun, um, and just, you know, keeping on top of each other, making sure our spirits are up. Uncharted challenges for the Revs for the upcoming three to five weeks in the MLS's back tournament are the heat and humidity of Orlando's weather conditions. Florida temperatures remain high upwards of 90 degrees in July, which is typically 10 degrees higher than the weather in Foxborough. To add to the mix, Orlando has scattered thunderstorms that creep in at different times. No matter the weather though, the Revs are up for the challenge. Yeah, it's going to be very hot, very humid. Uh, when I was 12 years old, I had a chance to play in Orlando, Disney. Disney Cup, so I know what to expect regarding weather. Uh, uh, I think the conditions will be the same for, for every team, so uh, it's not going to be either easier or harder for, for any of the team. Uh, I think it might influence a little bit the tempo of the game, but uh, I think uh, everything will be, will be fine and uh, we just need to play smart and we are able to do it, and as I said before, we are we were, we were ready for the tournament for sure. In addition to the weather conditions, a big difference between ramping up for the MLS's back tournament versus the regular season is that there are no friendlies prior to league play. Instead, the refs have to have frequent intra-squad scrimmages to replicate the intensity of a real match. However, the long four-month gap since facing MLS competition only makes the refs hungrier for a win against Montreal. It's been a long time that we've uh, had an opportunity to get ready and prepare for an opponent. A lot of time we've been just playing inter-squad scrimmages and um, beating each other up. Now it'll be good that we can go out there and, and face a good opponent and kind of get some retribution against Montreal. The Revs had only played two regular season games before COVID-19 suspended the MLS season in March, one of which was a 2-1 loss at the Montreal Impact. Four months later, as the season resumes in July, and the Revs will kick off their slate in Group C against the same competitor. New England will seek retribution in this rematch as they look to take what they learned in the original showdown and use it to their advantage. We've played Montreal before, we're familiar with them, so it's a familiar opponent. Um, hopefully we can right some wrongs that happened up there and play on a little bit of a better surface, which will be nice. And, and uh, I think overall, um, just making sure that we've been fit and we've been doing a really good job in training. So we're going to go out there, we're going to work really hard and, and obviously battle a little bit with the heat and, uh, and put in a good performance. A rule that will benefit all teams in the MLS's back tournament is that squads are allowed five substitutions instead of three and can dress 23 players instead of 18. With extra bodies incorporated into games, it will test teams' depth and accommodate players as they work towards 90-minute fitness in the tough heat of Orlando. Depth is uh, super important for a tournament such as this with the humidity, the elements, um, being able to have five substitutions. I think everybody's going to have to be locked in and be prepared. Some guys that might not have even been you know, in that arena of, okay, you're going to be playing. Just I think everybody from number one to 20, whatever, has got to be prepared and locked in because their, their name could be called at any moment. The Revs will kick off against the Impact on Thursday at 8 o'clock with national television coverage in Spanish on Univision and English coverage streaming on Twitter and 98 by the Sports Hub. For now, with this week's training report presented by Empower Retirement, I'm Elizabeth Pajoda.